At 25 and 3, Westfield is ranked 21st in the state in Class 6A, with the Red Hot Mustangs riding a nine-game winning streak. We're in first place. The guys are feeling pretty good about themselves. We're playing pretty well right now. We're playing harder. We're just buying in. Whatever our coach say, we just do it. A big part of the Mustangs' success right now is predicated upon shutting down opponents on the defensive end of the floor. Our goal every game is to not let the team reach 50. So we take that very seriously. We go at each other in practice, and we just come out here and play hard on defense. We try to play defense. We play a couple of different kinds of defense, but it's all based on being successful defensively. Westfield features a veteran roster that includes a core group of five seniors that bring experience and leadership on and off the court. I really like this senior class because, you know, I, I have, I've been with them for so long, and I feel like we really connect together. All five of those guys have, you know, contributed greatly. They're leaders, they guys, high character guys, you know, who, Definitely, you can tell by just the way they are right now, going to be successful guys in life. The Mustangs are looking for their first playoff victory since 2017 after suffering first round losses to Klein Forest each of the last two years. We've been working for it hard all, all season, all season. We just talk about it every day. We've been thinking about it a lot. Like, we always like try to be different like than uh, the past because like we always won and done. We just try to get past that. They're excited and, and hungry about it after we lost that game last year on Tuesday night and on Thursday we were back in the weight room saying we couldn't get pushed around like that again. Uh, so we've been working ever since. You know our goal is not only the first round, but we want to try to get the state. One five pick and roll. After losing their final game of the 2019 calendar year on December 28th, the Mustangs refocused themselves and are intent on running the table and winning 21 straight games, which would mean a perfect district campaign and ultimately a state title. After we lost to Colleen Ellison in the Conroe Tournament Championship, we said that we weren't going to lose again in 2020. So that's been our goal is 21 and 0. Um, and I really feel like we can do that. We're playing for us to get the state championship. One, two, three. Okay.